Welcome to Nizhnevartovsk, the oil city, the center of Samatlor land, the hometown of many oil men. All these names belong to Nizhnevartovsk, the second largest city of Khanty Mansis autonomous region. Nizhnevartovsk was founded 40 years ago after the exploration of Samatlor oil field. Samatlor is one of the wealthiest oil fields of Russia. Today Nizhnevartovsk is modern and well-developed city with a population of 300,000 people. The symbol of Nizhny Vartovsk is the monument to the explorers of Samadvor. It was built 30 years ago. The prototype was Fyodor Mitrusenko, one of the best drillers of the time. However, townspeople called the monument Alyosha. There is an interesting fact that in Bulgaria there is a monument called Alyosha too. But that monument is devoted to Russian soldiers. Status have some similar features and that's why they also have similar names. By the pedestal of the monument is so-called time capsule containing wishes of first oil men to the people of 21st century. In 2018, Nizhnevartos will find out what is inside of it. This is the great culture establishment of Yugra. The Palace of Arts is the main stage of Nizhnevartos. Prominent artists, musicians and actors perform here. The main hall seats 1,000 people and the total area of the establishment is 12,000 square meters. One of the most impressive buildings of Nizhnevartovsk is the railway station building. The first train came to Nizhnevartovsk in 1976. Today we can see the copy of one coach of the train, erected to the memory of that event. The main building was being erected for 20 years. Today it is a modern spacious building. And by the way, it was taken to the Guinness Record Book as the largest railway station on the terminal railway point. We are in the Victory Park, the place of nature and peace. The main thing here is the monument to the fellow townsmen fallen during the Great Patriotic War. Nizhnevartovsk remembers Siberian people who gave their lives for our happy future. Every year, on the 9th of May, Adults and children come here to pay respect to fallen soldiers. They bring flowers and lay it to the pedestal of the monument. We stand near the unique object. There are no similar constructions in Russia. The monument to the sports stars of Nizhnevartovsk. The huge ball symbolizes the earth and you can see the stars on it. Every star belongs to the prominent sportsman of Nizhnevartovsk or its region. Here you can see such names as the name of the Olympic champion in boxing Alexander Maletin, world champion in boxing Evgeny Makarenko, world champion in judo Vera Maskaluk, and world champion in biathlon Andrei Dubasov, and many, many others. Nizhnevartovsk is the multinational city and people of different confessions live here. As you know, the main religion of Russia is the Orthodox Christianity. Behind me stands the Nativity of Christ Church. The church consists of five domes, and the sixth dome is the Dome of the Bell Tower. The Bell Tower is joined to the main building, and this is the northern type of church. The church stands on the Orbs embankment, and the site here is always wonderful from every point. Ob is one of the greatest rivers in the world. Its embankment is full of minor and major padlocks. They all symbolize love between lovers and married couples. But the biggest padlock is, of course, this one. This is two meters high and made of iron. It was erected as the symbol of tradition of hanging padlocks on the fences. This tradition was spread from Europe all over the world. And it says that after closing your padlock, you should throw your key to the river as the symbol of eternal love. Citizens love Nizhnevartovsk in every weather and season. We are always glad to see you here in our city. So come and experience the Siberian city of Nizhnevartovsk from inside.